Hi, I'm Jack Draper. Shout out to Quality Shot Tennis. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel WTA Miami Open 2023 draw preview and prediction video. We have an absolutely stacked, stacked lineup for the second part of the Sunshine Double. We've just had Indian Wells, fantastic tournament, fantastic final. And in the end, Alina Rybakina was the one that came out on top, getting revenge over Arena Sabalenka for the Australian Open final loss. Iga Sviontek lost in the semi-finals to Rybakina, who did the double on her after beating it in the Australian Open a few months back. And of course, a massive upset as always. But interesting to see Sviontek, Sabalenka, Rybakina, and it seems maybe even Krachikova as well. They seem to be the four dominant women's players at the moment, the four players that are most likely to win a tournament and a Grand Slam this year, so far anyway. It's a long way to go, but that's what it's shaping up to be at the moment. So we're going to get into it. There's some fantastic matchups on shore. I haven't looked at it yet. So as usual, I'm going to go through and pick my winner from each match. We're going to go through every single match, pick a winner, and then it'll bring up the predicted uh, lineup or predicted matches for us to then go through the rest of the bracket. And ultimately, I'll give you guys my winner. Before we get into it, though, remember to that like button. Do subscribe if you're new and also do leave a rating or review if you're listening on a podcast platform. Thank you to all our members. We've had some incredible incredible people joining um especially recently as well the support subscribers and memberships has been fantastic so keep them coming really really is appreciated still over 80 percent of you who are watching these videos aren't subscribed so please do it does help us out enough about that let's get into the draw so Iga Sviontek is the number one seed no surprises there of course she has a buy in the first round she'll be looking to She'll be looking to go on and win this tournament, especially after she was the Indian World Champion, of course, last year in Miami. She'll be looking to do, do better. The courts in Miami, by the way, before we get into the rest of the draw, is a little bit quicker than Indian Wells. It's not the... It's not as slow and maybe as heavy the conditions as uh, Indian Wells as well. Iga Sviontek won not only Indian Wells last year, but she won Miami as well. So she'll be looking to repeat the feat of winning Miami as well. She's got uh, some points which she'll be wanting to wrap up, of course, as well, um, which will be interesting. But, you know, will she have the confidence going into this second part of the Sunshine Double? We shall see. Let's then talk about the rest of the draw. So Sinia Kova plays Claire Lou. We're going to go for Sinia Kova in this one. Kovanich looks like she's going to play a qualifier, qualifying. The last couple of matches are still going on, uh, but I wanted to get into this now because otherwise, by the time you wait for it, the qualifiers come in, th the match is already beginning for round one. So Kovanich will go for her. Trevisan has a bye as a seed, as is Ostapenko. Paolini will play a qualifier, will go for her then. Same with Kopach. Haddad Meyer has a bye. Talking on qualifiers, by the way, as well, the people to watch out for, there's Kirsty. Uh, there's there's a few other not sorry not Kirsty it's there's there's a few decent qualifiers in there um, but like Linda Fravitova uh, there's a few others as well so look they could be players that potentially do something but they're not going to be players that you expect to win the title right or go very deep Haddad Meyer has a buy as as Rebakina the Indian Wells champion, she'll be really confident. She's the most informed player on the WTA Tour now after beating Sabalenka in straight sets. And she'll be coming into this with huge confidence. The big question mark around Rebecca is going to be her body. She had strapping on her shoulders uh, going into Indian Wells or for part of Indian Wells anyway. That went away at the end of the tournament. But we know that she was struggling with it. So is she going to feel okay in Miami? Is she going to potentially feel fatigue or soreness? We'll see how she gets on. Kalinskaya versus Kassin Saver. Wild card will go for Kalinskaya. Sharif has a wild card. Sorry, has a qualifier as well. But Dosa and Martic both have buys. Brenda Fravitova. So Linda Fravitova is in the qualifiers. So Brenda Fravitova has a wild card. She'll play one. I'll go for Fravitova. Mertens, Alicia Parks. Wow, what a first round that is. I think we're going to have to go for Alicia Parks, the fresher player, but at least Mart Mertens could easily just outmaneuver her with experience. Kasakina and Pakula both have buys. Linda 
for a bit of a oh okay so she's just got through I think by the looks of it uh, she will play another qualifier same with Lauren Davis Daniel Collins has a bye as is Magda Lynette Pera and Rodina will go for Pera Georgie and Kanepi. I think Georgie Kanepi hasn't been in good form this year. Georgie has been played some decent tennis. She's won a title in Portugal, I think it was, as well in Meridan. So she's playing some decent tennis. Azarenka has a bye as a Samson Nova. Uh, Begu plays Iela, a wild card go for Begu. Zheng Xin Wen has a bye, so we'll go for her. Of course, Potapova, the same with her. A good first round here. Kostyuk versus Kotiretto. Kostyuk won in Austin a few weeks back, so that's a really positive sign for the young Ukrainian. And uh, you know she's a very talented player, uh, so we'll see how she gets on and whether she's able to make a big splash in these big tournaments. But we'll go for Kostyuk to win her first round match. Potent Saver and Rebecca Marino, the Canadian versus the Kazakh. I'll go for Potent Saver. Goff has a bye as a Sakari. Now this is. I mean, this has got to be the best first round match. And it's a real shame for both players, in all honesty. Bianca and Jescu versus Emma Raducanu. This is <sighs> the battle of the former US Open champions, right? And Jescu 2019 champion, and Raducanu 2021 champion. Uh, it's a matchup that everyone wanted to see or wants to see, but probably not a matchup they would want to see in the first round, just because that just means we're not going to see the player. Um, or one of the players anyway after the match has ended which is a shame but look it's a fantastic matchup Andrescu leads the head-to-head 1-0 but she hasn't played uh, of course her much given it's the one win 6-2-2-1 and Redicon had to retire last year in May we're going to very very briefly talk about this I will probably do a preview video going into depth on it but Andrescu and Radicani both played Fiontech last week. They both had varying levels of success. I'd say Andrescu pushed Fiontech a bit more, I would say. Uh, pushed, it to, pushed it to a tiebreaker as well. Defensively, I would say Andrescu has the upper hand and has more diversity in her game, more variation. I think Radicanu offensively, though, is better. Uh, and I think she takes the ball earlier. And I think she's able to win points quicker at times as well. These conditions are quicker, which I think might favor Radicanu slightly. But Andrescu plays well on all surfaces. That's the type of game she has. Both players have relatively weak second serves, although I'd say Radicanu serving wise is probably better. But Andrescu is a fantastic returner. Radicanu needs to take advantage of Andrescu's weak second serve, and her first serve as well is not the best in honesty. So I think we're going to see some fantastic rallies. It's difficult. Radicani also was struggling with an injury, I know, uh, going into Indian Wells, uh, which she ended up playing in the end. So I'm going to go for Bianca Andrescu to extend her head to head. I just have a feeling there's too many variables going on with Radicani at the moment. And I know if she plays her best tennis, she can be anyone. And that's the same with Andrescu, and that's what makes it so good. But I'm hoping both of them are fit and we get a fantastic matchup. Sophia Kennan will have a wild card, so we'll go, for, sorry, will have a qualifier in the first round, so we'll go for her. Kalanina has a bye, as does Alexandrova. Townsend to beat Bondar for me. Fernandez has a qualifier as well. Bentich and Kvitova both have buys. Bronzetti versus Noskova. Mm, go for Noskova. Anisimova, Brengel, go Anisimova. She's just, I think she's going to enjoy these conditions. I think she's going to enjoy playing in the US, and I think her game is too big for Madison Brengel. Vekic has a bye, as does Zhang. Erika Andreva, wildcard versus Ashton Kruger. Wild card. I'll go for Kruger. So Nevska has a qualifier. Jabur has a bye, as does Caroline Garcia, as the fourth and fifth seeds, respectively. Kirsty to beat Gomez had a really good run last week in Indian Wells, making the quarterfinals, losing to Igor Sviontek. Teichman has a qualifier. Zhu has a bye, as does Pliskova. Wong to play a qualifier. And Vondrasova versus Tatiana Maria will go for Vondrasova. Since that win, well, since that semi-final run at Wimbledon for Tatiana Maria, she hasn't really done too much, uh, to be honest. So I have to go with Fondrasova. Kudumatova has a bye as a Skrachikova. Sasnovich versus Galfi will go for Sasnovich. Bogdan to beat Montgomery. And Keyes has a bye as is Buzkova. Uh, Niemir to beat Blinkova. Stevens. Ooh, Sloan Stevens and Shelby Rogers. It's a good one. It's a good one. Hmm. 
Shelby Rogers played a really good match against Zachary, who made the semi-finals of Indian Wells last week. She took her to three sets. I think we have to go for Shelby Rogers, do we? I think Sloane Stevens probably hasn't played particularly good tennis so far this year. Sabalenka has a bye. Okay, let's go through the rest. Sviantek, uh, Sinyakova, Sviantek, Trevor Sand to beat Kovinic, Ostapenko, Paulino, got Ostapenko to beat Paulini, Haddad Meir to beat Kopach, Rabakina to beat Kanskaya, Badosa to beat Sharif, Martic to beat Arch, we're going to go for Wang to beat Martic, cause a bit of an upset there. Kasakina, Parks, I'm going to go for Parks to cause the upset and beat Dasha Kasakina. Hasn't been in the best of form this year so far. Uh, Pagula, oh, Linda. Oh, Bagula and Linda Fravitova. Fravitova is dangerous. Linda, especially, she's the older one, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to go for Fravitova. I think she could do it. I do. I really. I'm. I know. I tend to pick the young, up and coming stars and maybe hype them up too much, but I do think on the WTA side, apart from those four players I mentioned earlier, I, I do think it's anyone's game. Anyone can be beaten pretty comfortably. Not comfortably, but as in. You know, it can be very, very competitive and anyone can win on the day. At the moment, anyway. Daniel Collins, Lauren Davis, Griffith Collins, Lynette to beat Perra, and Camilla Giorgi versus Azarenka. That's a really good matchup. I'm going to go for Giorgi. Samson Nova there as well. Zheng Xin went to beat Begu. Kostyuk to beat Potapova, who's the seed. Goff to beat Potenseva. Sakharin and Andrescu, that's a really good matchup. That's coming. I mean, both players are so good across the ground. Their movement is unbelievable. Uh, that's going to be two players really, really going at it with fantastic athleticism. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I think it's going to be a great match. I do. Who's going to win, though? I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to think about that. Head to head is one all. Sac Andrescu beat Sakari in Miami, actually, ironically, but two years ago. 7 6, 3 6, 7 6 in the semi final. That's so close. Then Andrescu lost Sakari, sorry, <clears throat> later in the year. 6 7, 7 6, 6 3. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's two really, really tight matches. So, I would say Andrescu is probably is she playing better tennis now? She played some really good tennis in Indian Wells. I think Sakari is definitely a better player. We'll go for Andrescu. Let's go for Andrescu. It's cause an upset. It would be an upset to be fair, given the given the seedings. Right, Sofia Kinnan, Kalanina will go for Kalanina. Alexandrova Townsend. We'll go for Townsend to cause an upset. Let's see if she can do it. Fernandez and Benchich, really good matchup. We'll go for. I think Fernandez could win. Let's go for it. Kvitova, Noskova, two Czech Republic players going at it. We'll go Kvitova. She's had a good run last few, well, last six months, really. Nisimova to be Vekic already. Oh, I think with the Nisimova, she's just so hot and cold. So I'm going to assume that she's going to be hot in this matchup. And she's going to be able to blitz her with just raw power. Zhang and Kruger go Zhang. Jabir to beat Zanevska. Garcia, Kirsty. This is a really interesting one because Caroline Garcia has had a very up and down last few months. Uh, hasn't been able to back up maybe her 2022 as much as she would like. Uh, lost to <coughs> Kirsty, ironically, in Indian Wells. So it's a rematch. She lost 7 5 in the final set. 6 4, 4 6, 7 5. Now, this surface, though, is slightly quicker. And I think that will favor Caroline Garcia. I don't think she's going to let Kirsty beat her twice in a row. So I'm going to go Garcia, but that's a revenge match. It is, isn't it? Teichman, Zou will go Teichman. Pliskova to beat Wang. Uh, Vondrasova, Kudimatova will go Vondrasova to cause the upset. Kuchikova to beat Sasanovic. Key to beat Bogdan. Buskova to beat Niemir. And Sabalenka to beat Rogers. Right, round of 32. Shriontek to beat Trevisan, Haddad Mir to beat Ostapenko, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rebakina, Badosa. 
So they played each other at Indian Wells in the first round as a tight match, but Rabakina came out relatively unscathed. The big question mark, as I said, is around physically how she's going to be feeling, but Dosa's going to be fresh. I like to think Badosa could beat Rabakina, given the circumstances, you know, who's fresh, who's not fresh. But Rabakina's got that form probably a bit too early in the tournament. So I'm going to go Rabakina to beat her again. Parks to beat Wang. Fravitova to beat Collins. Lynette Georgie will go for Georgie. Samsonova, Zheng Wen will go to Zheng Wen. Goff to beat Kostyuk. Andreescu to beat Kalanina. Fernandez to beat Townsend, two lefties going at it. Kvitova and Isamova Kvitova, she's been playing more consistently. Jabert to beat Zhang. Garcia to beat Teichman. Vondrasova to beat Pliskova. No, Pliskova to beat Vondrasova. Ooh, Krochikova keys. Now, keys could hit her off the court, but I think Krochikova has got too much in the locker, too much variation. And then Sabalenka to beat Puskova. <clears throat> The question is, how far do I have, say, Sabalenka and Rabakina going, given that they've just made a final? Sviontek, Haddad Meyer. Could Haddad Meyer beat Sviontek? I don't think so. Rabakina, Parks. Rabakina. Fravitova, Georgie will go Fravitova. Zheng Wen, Goff. <sighs> Goff didn't play a particularly good match against Sabalenka. In the quarterfinals of Indian Wells, she could have played better. I'm going to go for Coco Goff. Andrescu Fernandez, an all Canadian affair. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? I think Andrescu would have come out on top in that one, actually. I think she, the experience would be telling a little bit there. Uh, I think she'd be able to outmaneuver Fernandez. Kovitova Jabir will go Kovitova. I think Jabir, look, it was her first tournament back off a layoff um, at Indian Wells. And I think she will play better this tournament, but I can't see her going very far. Uh, I think it'll take her a few months. I think come the clay court season, she'll be in better physical and match form, and then I think she should be able to have a decent clay court season. Uh, Garcia, Pliskova. We'll go Garcia. And Krachikova, Sabalenka. A rematch of last week. Wow. Wow. Went to three sets. The big question is, could Krachikova get revenge, or will Sabalenka be her again? I'm going to go for Krachikova. To get revenge. Sriontek Rabakina in the replay of uh, of last week. Oh, wow. A replay of last week. Rabakina came out on top in the straight sets again. Do I go for Sriontek to get revenge or Rabakina to win again? Sriontek did say she's got some discomfort in her ribs. She's still going to play, though. I'm going to go for Rabakina to be again. I, I just... I'm struggling to see, unless Rabakina is hampered in some way by injury or fatigue, which it could be by fatigue potentially, but at this stage, of course, one is maybe, maybe not depends on how her previous rounds go. I think Sviontek really struggles with her style. I just think she hasn't figured it out yet. And I don't think she would have figured it out in the space of a week. Uh, for Vitova, Goff will go for Goff. Andrescu Kovitova. I think Andrescu could actually frustrate Kvitova, make her play the extra shot or two, etc. And then Kvitova could cave potentially. So we'll go Andrescu. And then Krachikova to beat Garcia. I think Krachikova has been playing really good tennis. Um, I can't see her losing to Caroline Garcia. If you were to ask me this time last year, I'd say probably Garcia. But at the moment, Krachikova. They got Rabakina and Goff. The problem with Coco Goff and Rabakina is Rabakina will attack the, attack the serve of Goff, even though it's a big serve. Uh, she's so tall, any kick serves don't really have much effect on her as well. And serving wise, I don't know if Goff's quite at that level at the moment, returning wise, that she's able to open up a lot of break points. So I think I, I think I'm gonna have to go back in her, but fatigue's a point as well. We'll go Goff. We'll say maybe at this point we're in her shoulders, her body's maybe not quite hundred percent. She's not able to move as well. So Goff can maybe just run her off the court, honestly. And then I've got Andrescu Krachikova, a very ambitious semi-final for me. I, I don't know if Andres is going to make it this far, honestly, but I've got Krachikova to win the semi-final. And I've got Coco Golf Krachikova in the final. I think Krachikova, too much. 
I think she would have watched Sabalenka and Rabak in a battle out in the final. She wanted to get, make the semis and she would have looked at that and said, I lost to Sabalenka earlier in the tournament. I should be there. I beat Shriantek recently. You know, I in Dubai even, I should be trying to win or should be winning these tournaments. I, I think she's going to come and come with vengeance. So I'm going to critique her as my winner in this tournament. Let me know your thoughts. Who are you going to pick to win this Miami tournament on the WTA side? The ATP draw preview and prediction video will be out soon, of course. Remember to that like button. Do subscribe if you're new and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. And thank you, of course, as well to our members. We'll see you very soon.